Welcome everybody to another episode of Full A Stacker. Uh, today we have a special guest, Sarah, on board from the Pro Services team, who is going to try to see through Richard's illusions, try to figure out how he does his thing. But first, <laughs> let's uh, let's talk with Sarah for a bit. Sarah, what do you want to talk about? Yeah, I uh, well, a few people know I just moved to a new house uh, like six weeks ago. So I thought if the Wi-Fi will cooperate, I might take you on a really quick tour of the downstairs of my house. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah let's do it. that's the excited face I was hoping yeah. for. Okay. I actually, full disclosure, don't know how far my Wi-Fi reaches. So if it crops out, then we'll just riff about Lord of the Rings instead or something. That works. Here we go. I'm starting out the front. Here we go. Beautiful Texas. Look at that. Suburbia. Oh, I love the van. <laughs> the van life. I got the, got the little Zerling mat that you wear. Oh, yeah, the mini van. Nice. Oh, the mini van life. <laughs> All right, we come in. Oh, I hope no one gets vertigo doing this. This might be dangerous. <laughs> Good morning on here. Um, got Keenan's office slash guest room back here. Got our right. pull-out couch over here. That's the room that's like holding all the stuff we still haven't unpacked, still in progress. Um, and then come down the hall to my office where I live. So Are those books here. right there on the shelves? Yes. Have you yes. read all those books? I have multiple wow. times. Wow, that's yeah. impressive. Yeah, but all my favorites are like in this area, like eye level, if anyone wants to like yeah. take a picture and inspect and talk to me about books. Man, I wish I um, could be. <laughs> <laughs> One of these days. One of these days. Um, mud room, laundry room, approaching the kitchen over here. Oh, uh, this is like something it. weird to be excited about. Uh, people don't probably don't normally show their closets on home tours, but this is my Christmas decoration closet. And it goes all the way back and oh, around. Wow. Like this is yeah. bigger than the closet that Harry Potter lived in. Like, and it's filled with Christmas decorations. That's cool. I get real excited about Christmas decorations. Um, we're getting close to done, I promise. This is my fridge that has the whiskey ball maker in it. Oh, very cool. <laughs> and I'm going to head out to the backyard and seat myself over there. Here are the kids doing tablet time while the two-year-old is going down to nap. Nice. Hashtag good parent. Child luck was on there. OK, and now I'm coming out to the backyard. Oh, it's kind of windy. We've got our little little slice of grass over here. Oh, that's a cool. What what is it? Is that technically called a jungle gym? What is that in the back? Yeah, it's like a uh, geometric dome. Yeah, think, those are cool. What it was called yeah. on Amazon. Yeah. Then my husband's got his smoker and grill and all that good food stuff over there. Nice. And then I'll sit here. Now I'm ready to be fooled. All Unless right, you Richard. have any questions about my house. No, 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 no. That, that was awesome. Thanks for the tour. Richard, are you ready? I believe I am ready. Let me just uh, switch over my camera here. Okay. So fancy. <laughs> All righty. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Perfect. Okay, so basically for this trick, um, I'm going to do a quick little magic trick with your help and assistance and participation. And then at the end, if you would like, we'll give you about 30 seconds to try and guess how I did it to see if we did fool a stacker or we didn't fool a stacker. So here goes. I'll go ahead and get this, this deck of cards. Pull out the cards. Oh yeah, form stack. I want to see that in a Taco reward. Be a Might good be able to work reward. something out. Yeah, so, uh, be a good taco reward. basically, a, I would say a regular deck of cards, but it's unique because this is the only one in the world that looks exactly like this because of the the custom back. Um, but it's got all 52 cards in there, uh, all unique, as as one would expect. So, for this trick, 
I'm going to have you pick a card, but since you're not physically here to to grab a card, what I'm going to do is move my finger over the card slowly, and all you'll have to do is just tell me when to stop. going stop this one right here yep that one it looks like it's like fourth from the top mm -hmm. okay i'll just set it over here and then i'm going to look away while i show you your card okay and then now Normally I'd have you place it back inside of the, the deck of cards, but so just kind of like I did with how we select the card, I'm gonna wave your card over the cards and you just tell me when to stop where you would like to put the card back. There. Yeah. So between these two cards or next to those? Yeah, no, where you got it, that's good. Okay. So I'm actually going to leave the card sticking out a bit so we can keep track of where you have selected. So just to confirm a couple things, uh, there's no way I could have possibly known that you would wait until almost the very end to choose a card and then yes. Yes. exactly where to, to put the card back. <laughs> All right. So um, actually for the, the sake of the, the whole trick and my visual benefit as well, we're going to actually take a look at the card and flip it over. So that way you know I didn't swip out, switch out cards or anything. This this was still your card. I didn't accidentally switch it, right? Correct. Okay. So, and then just to confirm, there's no way I could have known what card you were going to pick when it told me to stop and where exactly you were going to put the card back into the deck, right? Correct. Okay. So now for the, the cool thing, if we actually take a look at where you told me to stop to put this Ten of Diamonds, if we look at the four cards between those, this is exactly where you told me to put the Ten of Diamonds, between all four aces. Whoa! <laughs> all right, that's, that's all I got for you. I love it. I love that's it. pretty cool. Hmm. Okay, Sarah, <laughs> would you like to try to figure out how our wonderful magician just did that? Well, I'm a little bamboozled. I think the default answer would probably be magic, but yeah. and that, that's actually with, the right answer too. Is it? Oh, well, yeah. I was actually going to go with math. I think there's some math involved, and it's like five tiers above my my level of math understanding. I, I thought that's it. I, I think that uh, our very own Richard Parsons has actually sold his soul uh, to get <laughs> I, I think that's what happened. So Surely you sold it for magic. better better than card tricks, though. What are your other... Show us your other magics, please. <laughs> um, next Spirit Week or, or something, but that... <laughs> that Meaning uh, to the word Spirit Week. Math you referred to is actually known as math so... Oh, so God. Go. Oh, that was gosh. bad. <laughs> oh, gosh. I'm sorry, everyone listening. I, I, tried, to, I tried to get the puns in as... As much as I could. Oh. <laughs> All right, Sarah, uh, thanks for being on our show. Last but not least, is there somebody in the company that you would like to shout out? Somebody that's yes. made their life easier. Absolutely. I would love to shout out Steve Horn, uh, manager of Pro Services, just because Steve, ha uh, he's got a lot of big ideas, strong opinions. He's He's very passionate and he is he is moving and grooving over there in the pro services department and i uh i like what he's doing so shout out to steve keep keep doing what you're doing awesome props to steve indeed all right everybody uh that's it for another episode of full uh, stacker uh, as always at the end of this week there will be a form sent out and if you would like to participate on future episodes of full of stacker fill out that form let us know and i will be in touch otherwise have a good day and have a great spirit week